Hello everybody, what is up? I'm gonna shoot a quick live video right now. Uh, hopefully the quality is good and the audio audio and video quality are good. Um, real quick, I just wanna talk about how much it costs to buy designs from my designer and how much or how much I pay for designs. Um, obviously that is so that you can understand um, what levels are profitable and what you guys should be aiming towards paying for your designers um, for Merch by Amazon, for Etsy, Redbubble, whatever. So initially I started Merch by Amazon, but once I had the designs, I realized I could do other platforms. So I started doing Etsy with Printful. And those are really the only two I pursue right now. In the future, I will be pursuing Redbubble, um, T Fury, Teespring, all these other different platforms. But for now, it is just um, Etsy and Merch by Amazon. So thank you for joining me, guys. Feel free to put any comments uh, in the chat or um, smash the like button lightly. Just tap it. So let's get into it. I made a uh, an amazingly detailed uh, chart here on a snowflake that Luna made me. Um, and Luna put her name at the top. But anyways, um, basically it goes like this. I pay my designer, um, which I obtained through onlinejobs.ph and also on Fiverr. And I have a video about that. You can check that out. I will put the link to that video right here. Obviously, it's not there yet because it's live. Um, but once you have your designer, you have to get into pricing, how much you're going to pay them or whatever. So I pay my designer $4 per design. And she makes really, really good designs. Um, these She's not drawing them. They're not illustrations. These are vector-based designs. So she's taking... Uh, my advice on shirts to remake or make better versions of and then she's getting vector art that fits into the design and arranging it making minor changes putting text on there different fonts etc so i pay four dollars per design now once i have a design i also own the photoshop document the psd file so i get the file with all the layers and i could change anything in the file i want I could change the text, I could change the size, I could change the color, and I have another VA that I pay $2.50 an hour that does those minor changes. They're not incredibly talented at design, but they can do Photoshop and make minor changes. So I'm not even going to reference that, but I thought it was important for you guys to know I own the Photoshop files. So if it's like something, something 2018, I can remake that really quickly to be 2019 for the next year. Um, so, also, I pay $2 for variations of designs. Now, when I say variation, I don't mean that it's so simple that um, they just change the text or the size of something. Nothing that I could do or that I would want to do. Um, it's, it's more creative stuff, but it's still variation. So, it's either a design with the same phrase or, like, for example, it's a Cinco de Mayo shirt that says, um, I hate tacos said no one ever and it's a taco graphic and then the same shirt with a tamale and changed into a tamale and the same shirt with a burrito and changed into a burrito or whatever so those are variations and I pay two dollars each for those variations and so I broke it down real quick so let's say I get a hundred um, designs from my designer that's going to cost me four hundred dollars right so a hundred designs four hundred dollars these are all unique designs but out of those designs, um, she's going to make variations. And each design has at least two variations, and to be honest, probably a lot more. Probably as many as five variations, if it's like a family-related variation. Uncle, dad, mother, brother, sister, cousin, daughter, son, etc. So, But just for the sake of math, I just am not exaggerating, because we're talking about money, which is important when you're talking about business ventures. Um, I just say two variations for each shirt. So that puts us at 300 designs, unique designs for $800. Now, um, this is the big step. So after I get these 300 designs, I'm going to run them through Merchinator. And I actually have my VA that pay $2.50 an hour run the designs through Merchinator. Merchinator.com is, um, 
a it's kind of like it's a filter based service for your designs. It's ran by it's a software online done by the Jersey Merch Empire guys. You put a design in, you pick through the different 10 or 15 filters that they have to see if your design looks good in that filter. And if it does, it's you spit it back out for 10 cents. You spit out your new graphic that's been altered. So um, every time you put a design into Merchinator, there's going to be at least one to two designs, more closer to two designs that look good on the Merchinator. So... Um, just to be fair, I'll put that at 1.5 because I don't want to say two. Sometimes you don't get two good designs out of merchandising a design. So I'll say 1.5. So you take that, that 300 designs and you turn that into 1.5 additional designs for each design. Now you have, and that costs 40, that cost you, uh, that would be 450 new designs from the 300 designs. And those cost you $45. So now you're looking at 750 designs for $845, right? So your cost is getting down. Now your cost is around $1.12 each a design, right? So it's getting there, right? Now here's the big kicker. On Merch by Amazon, and this is mostly I'm just talking about Merch by Amazon. Obviously, once I have these designs, I'm taking them to other platforms, right? On Merch by Amazon, there's five product types. You got standard shirt, premium shirt, long sleeve shirt, crew neck, sweatshirt, and hoodie, right? So that's five design, five garment types, five slots in your arsenal of slots that you have on Merch by Amazon. So if I have 750 designs and I multiply that by five garments, uploading each design to the five garments, how many slots is that on Merch by Amazon? That is 3,750 slots filled for $845 or 22 cents per slot. Now, that's pretty amazing. And when you hear people talk about, I have, um, how many designs live do you have on Merch by Amazon? And they say 5,000. They don't mean 5,000 unique designs. They mean that they have 5,000 slots occupied on Merch by Amazon. And so if they're uploading to every garment, you divide that by five, which means they actually only have 1,000 designs. And they might not even be unique. Merch by Amazon only lets you choose five colors per T-shirt. So they might be uploading the same design twice to get multiple sets of five colors chosen. They also might be uploading the same design more than once to test different keywords and brand strategies. So... Um, yeah, so just because they have 5,000, it doesn't mean they have 5,000 unique designs, and it doesn't mean that, at least in my scenario of $4 a design, it doesn't mean they paid 20000 If you you have a VA and you have variations and you merchandise them, you can get your design cost down a lot more. So there should be a link in the description for Merchinator. If there's not, I will put one there. It's my referral link. I get a little bit of a cut if you use it. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And it just it just makes so much sense. It's ten cents to make a variation. So it's like stocks or whatever. You're averaging down on your design costs when you merchandise your designs, which I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Um let's see, what else is there to talk about as far as designs? If you guys have any questions, put them on the screen and I'll answer them right now. I only have a few more minutes till I have to go pick up Luna from ballet class. Um Basically, that's the gist of it, guys. You just want to get your designs into into your platforms for as cheap as possible. So I also have an uploader that works for my shirt business that does my Etsy and my Amazon uploads. Currently working on Amazon only because I'm a, today or tomorrow I'll max out my uploads on Amazon and then they'll go back to focusing on Etsy until I get tiered up again on Amazon. Um, but I pay them $2.50 an hour. And they can upload 100 slots on Merch by Amazon in two to four hours. So it either costs me five bucks for 100 uploads or 10 bucks for 100 uploads, which is very, very cheap. And um, you need these things if you want to scale your Merch by Amazon business. You can do it yourself, but you're going to be spending a lot of time. I was doing the 100 uploads myself, actually, when it take me two hours every single day 
which two hours is not a long time, but I also, we homeschool Luna. I'm home with Luna. I have to run my regular Amazon business. I got to do stuff for me, et cetera. So two hours every single day becomes kind of like a prison. And I had to outsource that. And that's what is going to let me scale my business to the future. So I did a thousand dollars in profit on Amazon back in October. And I haven't been able to break a thousand dollars a month since then on Amazon. I've been doing, you know, 600, 650, 700. And so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to scale it up and break that 1,000 again, especially with Cinco de Mayo coming up and Earth Day and other holidays that I'm ready and set to strike on. So I actually have 300 unique designs um, for Cinco de Mayo by Amazon rather than two, five different garments. So I'm casting a wide net for Cinco de Mayo and I'm hoping to um, hit that trend because I haven't had a lot of success yet of hitting holidays or trend. Um, we shop into the night for you. Who does the keyword research? So the lister does the keyword research also. They are trained on how to use Sonar, which is Amazon keyword tool. It's free. And also to use the search bar on Amazon to find keywords for different designs. And I've also given them other guidance, like use the word gift, and that also um, in how to guidance and examples and how to build the bullet points and the description. So the uploader does all that and um, using sonar, et cetera, like I just said. They also use Merch Lister. I think it's called Merch Lister Pro, maybe just Merch Lister, which is a mandatory thing you guys should get. I don't have an affiliate for that or whatever, but it saves you an intense amount of time. It's like a keyword expander on crack for Merch by Amazon. So it's kind of more like a keyword expansion times a macro because you don't just expand a phrase. You type in whatever your shortcut is, a few letters, and it fills out the entire thing, the price, the title, the bullets, the description, everything, couple letters. And so the key to listing fast on Merch by Amazon is to upload all of your shirts in niches. So if you're doing, uh, don't if you have 100 shirts, don't do 10, you know, 10 dog shirt shirts, 10 Cinco de Mayo shirts, do this, do as many as you can in the same niche. So if you can Cinco de Mayo uploads in one day, that's going to save you a bunch of time because you can keep the brand the same. You can keep most of the title the same. You can keep the bullets and the description the same. That's going to scale it up. If you have, you know, gardening shirts, try to do at least 20 at a time so you can save yourself a lot of time. Uh, what up, Reezy? Just now hiring a VA for my merch using Upwork. How are you using? Um, I hired off of Fiverr and onlinejobs.ph, but Upwork is good. I mean, it's all good if you find the right person. That's all that matters is finding the right person so that you can scale because you can't do it all yourself, right? And I know that in the terms of service on merch by Amazon, it says you're not supposed to let other people access your account, but I think that's just them covering their ass in case something happens from you having someone run your other account so you, you can't say oh my VA just did it like help me um, that way um, you're still responsible for it because the reality of it is they want people to be professional and build businesses around it not be a hobby and if you have to do it it's more of it's not really a business and the example I like to give everyone which is, is kind of like a partly serious is who do you think is uploading the shirts for Disney's Merch by Amazon account. Do you think it's Mickey Mouse or Walt Disney? Who do you think uploads for the Star Wars account? You know, these are brands and businesses that have Merch by Amazon accounts. Um, it's not done by the CEO of the company. It's done by the person who Merch by Amazon account, the employees, et cetera. And obviously, we're not huge brands like that, but you got to scale your business. you got to grow your business, so you have to have people help you. You can't do all the work yourself. Anyways, that's about it. I just wanted you guys to realize the um, overall cost of designs when getting a VA to make designs for you and also how you can average that cost down, you know, using variations, Merchinator, and uploading to multiple garments. The one thing I didn't mention is text-based designs. I actually only pay $1 for text-based designs, and that is a design that is mostly text with a very small graphic element. I only pay $1 for those. So, that actually lowers my cost down a lot more, and I do do a fair, I said, do do a fair amount of text 
designs because text-based designs sell really well. When you're walking around in public and you see people's shirts, which you should do if you're a merch, if you're a t-shirt seller, salesman, whatever you want to call it, you should be getting ideas from the public. When you see people walking around, make a note on your phone of their shirts. If they bought it, they wants to buy it also. Maybe you're in Walmart or Target. Look at the trade shirts. Of course, make sure they're not trademarked. But just look and you'll see a lot of people wear text-based designs only, especially guys. Women and kicks more um, than guys, but guys, for the most part, just want text-based designs. Distressed designs sell very well. And that's the great thing about Merchinator is that they have a distressed filter. So, like, it's far on your design through Merchinator and get it distressed that way than it is for me to pay my designer to distress it. It just takes them longer than it takes 10 cents to do it. So that way I get every design is a fresh design, and then it's also distressed also. And then there's also probably another filter on Merchinator that looks good. Um, one more question. Do you do one-sided or two-sided? I do one-sided shirts. I only print on the front. I haven't tried printing on the back um, at all on Merch by Amazon, but I only do one. And then same thing over to Etsy with Printful, and I put them on standard shirts. If they sell, I do long sleeve shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, mugs, etc. So every time I sell a design, I push it to a new product or a few new types of products and try it out. I highly recommend Etsy and Printful. I'm actually doing better on Etsy and Printful than I am on Merch with four times less design. So I don't want traffic less saturated or I'm better at the search engine optimization on Etsy, but I definitely recommend checking it out. Printful offers so many good products on Etsy. They just rolled out backpacks that you can do all over print on, right? So like pepperoni pizza backpack, Galaxy Star Wars, Star, not Star Wars, but, you know, put a nebula on a backpack, you know, get some yoga pants. They got dresses all over. They got all over cut and sew shirts. You know, they have a ton of different product types. They have cinch backpacks. They have posters. Anything you could think of, you can make on Printful and send it to your Etsy store, which I highly recommend. They got beach towels. So if you saw a post I did recently on Instagram, I have an Etsy store for my personal brand for Reezy Resales, and I have hats in there, t-shirts, and even beach towels. So it's really cool to have that versatility in a print-on-demand platform to take an idea for purchase and not really have to pay anything until someone buys it. And then inventory, invest in inventory, not have to ship it, any of that stuff. So I highly recommend you guys checking out Merch by Amazon, Etsy, all getting involved in print on demand. I have other videos for print on demand. I'll link to those over here. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. It helps me reach new people and show up in suggested views more. Um, other than that, please hit the like button on your way. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.